Members of Congress, the state of our union is strong. So tonight, President Donald Trump delivered his second State of the Union, uh, but significantly, this was the first since he was now faced with a divided government, with Democrats in control of the House of Representatives. And it was received as you might think. Republicans largely cheered everything he had to say. Democrats largely didn't. Uh, it was, he spoke for 82 minutes. It was a speech that was devoid of a lot of really new proposals. There were a few headlines. He did announce that he will have his second summit with North Korean, North Korean leader Kim Jong-un over the end of February in Vietnam. Uh, he talked about, he renewed his push for his border wall. Walls work and walls save lives. He doubled down on some of his hardline immigration policies, the very things that, of course, triggered the recent government shutdown, the longest in history, lasted more than a month. Although, interestingly, the president made no mention of the shutdown itself or the federal workers who went, went without a paycheck for a month uh, during his remarks. The theater of the speech was truly remarkable, as over his shoulder throughout was House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, his, his new rival in Washington, uh, who, in her, watching her reactions to his remarks, was fascinating. Also in the room, of course, were several Democrats who were possible 2020 contenders, whether that's Senator Elizabeth Warren, Senator Kamala Harris, even perhaps Bernie Sanders and a few others. Uh, also, we had half the room, seemingly, uh, but certainly dozens and dozens of fre uh, female Democratic lawmakers in the House of Representatives wearing white, the color of the suffragists. And at one moment, one of the more entertaining uh, minutes of the speech was when the president sort of touted all the new jobs he, his administration had created for women. No one has benefited more from a thriving economy than women who have filled 58 percent of the newly created jobs last year. And a bunch, almost en masse, a bunch of these freshman lawmakers all got up and started cheering, touting, pointing to themselves that they, of course, had their jobs in response to the president's uh, policies as they were elected to be a check on him. Uh, at first, he didn't quite seem to get the joke, but then he laughed along. The president certainly tonight did make a few cries for unity, some, some calls for unity, both at the beginning and particularly at the end of the speech. We can bridge old divisions, heal old wounds, build new coalitions. Um, and those were, as you might expect, largely received with applause in the room. The question is whether he'll stick with it. Uh, he has done this before, including in last year's State of the Union where he called for bipartisanship. He called for a sense of Washington to come together to set aside their differences. And within days, that was shattered by a wave of his angry tweets, mostly. Uh, even earlier today, just hours before the speech, he attacked Senate Minority Leader Charles Schumer, a Democrat, on Twitter. So it will, remains to be seen whether any common ground could be found. There isn't much that, that these two parties seem to agree on right now, and there certainly isn't much optimism that the president will stick with a bipartisan push.